Well, good morning. It's Wednesday, and today we read Psalm 121, another song of ascents. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. He who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. So another short psalm. Um, this one, now sometimes I see plaques on someone's kitchen wall, you know, words on wood painted, and it says, "My, I, look, I lift up my eyes to the hills from where my help comes. No, wrong. If you've got that plaque on your kitchen wall, it's time to think about redecorating. There's not much punctuation in Hebrew, granted, but the accepted translation is, I lift up my eyes to the hills, period. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth, not from the gods on the top of the hill, the the. That's where the pagans put their shrines, up on top of the hill where everybody could see it. And that is not where you look for help from the Lord. The Lord made the hills, and so he's not on top of the hill. He's with us. And then the psalm goes on. The main message here is that he will keep us. He will guard us. He will protect us and sustain us. Uh, against um, enemies, against uh, the sun or the moon, um, you know, sunstroke, I guess. Um, keep us from evil, keep, protect us, and keep our going out and our coming in. And, and it's a lovely um, sentiment there. Um, but it's clear that it says, my help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. So it's a sort of a dialogue with these pagans. And our help comes from God. Now, we're not surrounded by pagans, though, right? Are we? I think we are. Uh, are we surrounded by people who worship other things, other gods, small g gods? Um, well, they don't worship little statues called Dagon or anything, but they do worship uh, power. Lots of that. Just turn on your TV. Um, people worship uh, money. Again, yeah. People worship um, uh, uh, pleasure and sex. Um, on all of this, you can find on your, you know, just turn on the TV to any channel and watch for five minutes and you'll see these things. Um, people worship riches and wealth and that kind of thing. Um now, it's all clothed in, in sweet language about how it's the American way or uh, we're just trying to, you know, enjoy our lives. We've worked hard for all these years and now we've earned, we deserve, you have to listen for that language, we deserve a chance to relax and enjoy our lives. We haven't enjoyed it up till now, but we, we get to enjoy it now. Um, you have to listen or, or, or TV commercials that say, well, you deserve it. You know, you deserve a break today. So go to McDonald's. Don't don't slave away. Go, take a break and go go eat. Um, all of that kind of language serves to say these are the gods you should worship. These are the things that are important. These are the things that will take care of you. And Christians and you know, people who follow the Bible, Jews, would say, no, the Lord who made heaven and earth, he's our keeper. He will take care of us. We don't need to do and follow and pursue all those other things. So there you go. I hope you find that the least bit comforting. Um, and tomorrow we will continue on 
with the songs of ascents with the next psalm 122 um it's another good one. So we'll see you then. See you tomorrow. Have a great Wednesday.